Good evening, gentle viewers, and welcome to another edition of Funko Friday Holiday Edition. The Queen has ordered me to present to you her favorite Funko Pops that she has recently acquired. So, without any further ado, I will proceed as ordered. Here we go. And as you can see, our first two pops represented by Daphne and her husband, I forget his name, Simon. It has taken Funko a good while to produce these pops after two very successful seasons and a highly anticipated third season, which, by the way, if you didn't know, Netflix released that information of when season three is going to be dropping. So, uh, your majesty, if you will please insert the first date for the first four episodes here, and then the second half of the season, those dates will start here. Well, now you know. And then also, after a very successful prequel, Charlotte, they have finally released some pops. I'm interested in what Funko Pops you would want out of the Bridgerton series. But let's first start with Daphne Bridgerton, the oldest female. And I believe she was the Queen's Diamond, or I like to say the Belle of the Ball. But there she is, looking as elegant as ever. And then, of course, the Duke himself, Simon, and uh, I kind of like his undershirt and everything like that. It's a nice pop design, not all one monotone color. But here you guys go. Now, if you are like the Queen, she has started reading these books, however, uh, with all our traveling and work, it's kind of a slow roll for her. She, I think, is in the second book, maybe three-fourths of the way in. And I'm going to start reading these books. Shocker. Not my genre. The reason why is because they are doing season three, technically, out of order. And so I am more intrigued at how the whole storyline goes by the author versus how Netflix is doing the, uh, the television series. So, yes, I'm interested in Colin and Penelope's uh, season, season three. However, I was looking forward to it flowing with the book, but television does what it wants, so I now have to read the books. Now, Season 2, we had Antony Bridgerton, the oldest, and uh, I believe the Viscount of uh, Bridgerton, because father had passed away. And here is Antony, and of course, he is uh, with the iconic croquet mallet, which I thought was a nice touch, of course, being that... Uh, this was a storyline uh, that started and then they also ended the season with them playing croquet again. And then here is Kate Swarma, which if you haven't seen the actress who plays Kate, um, to watch her go from sex education, um, that raunchy style British... Uh, Ting to a very elegant, way back uh, era and play her. Phenomenal. Uh, I thoroughly have uh, loved the evolution of this actress, so I can't wait to see more. But here she is with what would be Antony's croquet mallet, the black one. And I absolutely love her dress and that they put the earrings on her and everything like that. Made her look very elegant. But lastly, they had made a pop. 
And I'm glad that they made this. And now I wish that they make the spouse for this one. And what was funny, when we picked this pop up, the cashier was like, oh, I thought she had a fruit salad on her head. And I concur. And it makes me hungry for like those little gummies, fruit candy gummies that you eat, like from a snack pack and stuff like that. Um, so maybe after this I'll end up going and getting some. But this pop is probably, aside from um, my more elegant style pops, which I think is like Madame Leota from my last Funko video, this one is probably the next elegant one, or the most elegant one we own. And it is the Queen herself, Queen Charlotte. And I absolutely love the dress design. I absolutely love her hair. And if I can get her out of the box, which don't tell the queen, I will show you what she looks like. Oh yes, she's got like um that ombre style of hair. That I don't think uh, you get to see if you kind of... You can see it if you leave her in the box. Um, but to take it out and then like look at the back side. Oh, it's... Oh, they did her good. Oh, and then some of the back details for her dress. Yes, queen. There we go. She's absolutely gorgeous, this pop. I love her hair color. Purple is uh, the color of royalty, so it only makes sense that they did this color on Queen Charlotte. And uh, I would actually would love, like I was saying, a pop of King George, um, and I would love a pop of younger Queen Charlotte and younger King George. Um, kind of like how you do the chases with uh, younger Carl and uh, older Carl from Up. I think that would be phenomenal for a pop. Um, or if you, they did Funko Sodas that way. But uh, you can take those ideas, Funko. Run with them if you like. But yes, so far, if I had to pick any pop out of the Bridgerton pops that uh, Jazz picked up, it would have to be the Queen. She's by far my favorite with all the, the decorations and everything. But uh, yeah, I'm interested to see Season 3 to see what happens. I know a lot of people say that the romance between Colin and Penelope is not there on, on screen. Um, and I kind of agree. I don't really see it, so I'm interested in how they develop it in eight episodes. Of course, they're rather long episodes. Um, but also, what the book says. Like, obviously the book is going to have a more build of their romance and everything like that so I'm always a strong proponent of reading books especially if you want to know more so if you're interested like me read the books if you've already read the books tell me which one is your favorite that way Jazz can also check out those comments and she can anticipate uh, what is coming forward a little bit not too many spoilers please and uh, yeah I'm I'm totally stoked for this new upcoming season. I have more than enough time to read since the first few episodes don't come out till May. Um, between all my other books, so that might be a hard, hard quest to do. But uh, yeah, these are what Jazz recently picked up. We got all of these from Target, uh, is where we picked these up at. I don't know any other local spots that were having them. I've seen them um, previewed um, as a future release on the Funko site and I was like, oh, she's gonna want these and lo and behold, one day she stopped at Target, checked out the pops, and they had all of these. I know Queen Charlotte, however, we had to pick up at BAM or Books A Million, so I I'm glad that she completed this set. She's a person of completion, kind of like the Queen. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this Funko Friday. I hope you enjoyed the Bridgerton Pops. I'm excited to see the new series. Let me know what you guys would like 
Funko to make, like I said, out of the Bridgerton line, or if you're satisfied with these pops at all. But I hope you enjoyed. Enjoy your weekend. Happy holidays to you, and I wish you all the best. And if I don't see you again until the new year, you take care, all right? Bye.